Welcome back to my channel. Today we begin our summer giveaway, but this one's going to be a little extra special because I am teaming up with my friend Candace from Candace Hampton. And if you don't know her channel already, you are missing out on a lot. We do a lot of collabs together and I am so excited to be partnering up with her again to do something fun and exciting. And this giveaway is about $2,000 worth of product. So it's definitely a giveaway to enter. If you want to enter this contest, you're gonna have to follow the link below in the description box and it will give you a way to enter multiple times following that link. Now, we will have your full email address from that link and therefore we are both asking that in both of our videos you leave a comment letting us know your favorite item from that video and your first part of your email address the part before the at sign not the ending because we want to protect your information and your email address so please do not put the full email address just the part before the at sign without further ado let's go ahead and see all the items in the giveaway. All right, all the items that you will be getting from me are going to be the following and I will swatch everything that I personally own so that you can see some of the looks and formulas as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with this right here. This is a this was a mystery bag from Ofra. You're getting the full thing, so it's not really a mystery. I've already opened it. So let me go ahead and show you what's on the inside. First item is these Cleanse Off Face Wipes. Then you get a bottle of setting spray. They call theirs Mix Makeup Fixer. Then you will get a pressed powder. This is a banana powder. There's the um, banana powder out of the package. There is that. I'm gonna splash it. I don't think you'll be able to see anything because it's banana powder and I'm white, but there it is. All right, so the next item in there is the highlight, which you saw me pull up already. And I will show you that. There is the highlight. This is in shade Star Island. And the last thing that was in the mystery bag is this lip color right here. This is Lasting Liquid Lipstick in shade Santa Monica. And here's mine. And I'm going to swatch that. And there's the color on that one. All right, so next we have we have two bath bombs from Vagisil. One is scented, um, what is the scent? White Jasmine and Peach Blossom. Then we have this multifunctional sponge soap or soap sponge, Mother of Pearl. And that is what that looks like. Then we've got the Tarte High Performance Naturals Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. We've got the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Refreshing Deodorant. And this I do believe is plant-based, this yeah, plant-based deodorant. There is no aluminum, no alcohol, and no parabens in this. Next we have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I do have one of these and I really, really like it. So Then we have uh, Carity Strip Down Makeup Remover Wipes. We have Color Club Nail Lacquer in color, it's complicated. And I've got some brushes here. This is 
chisel flush from crown brush that's what that is and that the next brush is blending brush from clean color then we have a set of brushes from Ruby May and that is what they look like uh, perfecting whitening pen for sensitive teeth we have Siat London extraordinary translucent powder We have Wonder Beauty. This is clear eye, I think, I'm trying to read without glasses. Hold on a second. Yeah, uh, Precise Brow Gel, that's what it is. Precise Brow Gel from Wonder Beauty. Then we have Carity Pre-Shadow Primer. We have Ruby May Eyeliner. Let's see, I don't have, there we go. It's just black, so I'm not swat opening it and swatching it, so there it is. We have an eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. This is a mini highlighter gel crayon. This is black also. We have a mini Marc Jacobs mascara as well. This is Velvet Noir. We have a lip liner in Nutmeg by Nobby. I don't have this one, so I'm not swatching it. Okay, we also have the mascara from Benefit, Fad Gal Bang. You see me use this one all the time in my videos because it's really good. I have a Peel Cream Liquid Lipstick and this is in shade Fancy. And we have NYX Makeup Crew. This is two colors. Let's see if I can see the colors on here. We have California. Well, well, there's, they're both California, but one is metallic and the other is not. So that is that. Okay, next we have Private Society Lip. Yeah, Lip Service, I guess that's what it is. And this is in color Lit. And I have that right here, so I'm going to swatch that for you. That is what the color Lit looks like. And we have another lip liner from Private Society called Bad Habit. And this is mine. Next we have the, what is this called? This is Marc Jacobs How Rouge. This is a liquid crayon. And of course I have this one. The next we have is Three-in-one double-ended liquid lip from Private Society. And I have that as well, and that is what that looks like. The This is in shade Vegas. Okay, so this, these two are the Private Society one in shade Vegas. So this is, you can wear by it. You can use either of them by themselves or top this one over that one. They're both very beautiful. Next we have Ruby May. Glossy AF in the shade color Los Angeles. And I have that as well. So we're going to go ahead and swatch that. There is the color Los Angeles. There's a lot of sparkle in it, very pretty. Private Society Lipology in shade Barbie. That would be this is the one you're getting, and this was mine. Let me go ahead and show that. Next we have another Lipology from Private Society. This is in shade Plush, and that is the one going in the giveaway, and this is mine. And 
Next we have Lip Locks, which is their liquid lip, and it's a shade Salty. And then there's mine, so I will swatch that for you. The last lip I have is Cabana. And this is also by Private Society, and I have that one as well. All right, so moving on to eyeshadow palettes. The first palette I have is Midnight Vibes by Ulta Beauty. I do not have this palette, so I can't tell you how it performs, but that is what it looks like on the inside. They're really pretty colors. I am not swatching this because I'm not going to put my fingers on something that I am not keeping, but this has the names on it, so I will leave that in there for you. The next palette is Studio Makeup Easy to Wear Eyeshadow, and I don't see a name on this palette, but anyways, that is the palette. I guess Easy to Wear is the palette name. Let's go ahead and look in, and I do not have this palette either, so I will not be swatching it. All right, next palette we have here is Living in Color by Hank and Henry. And I already have that one, so I will be swatching this one. Okay, so those are the colors swatched from the Hank and Henry palette. And I really do love this palette. There you go. That was my first palette from Hank and Henry, and I still love it. All right, the next palette we have is Ruby May Pop Zombie. I think that's super cute and of course I have that too so I'm going to swatch that okay so those are the colors swatched super pretty super fun and of course that is what the colors on the inside of the palette look like all right so next I have this lovely pouch from Nomad Cosmetics it has four single shadows inside and it looks like this this is the Mary Kesh collection and of course I have that, so I am going to show you what each of those shadows look like. The first one is Spice Market. Next color is Desert Sands. Next shade is Jardin, I can't pronounce that word. I'm not gonna pronounce, say it. I'm not gonna butcher something. But anyways, it's this nice, beautiful blue color. There is the blue swatched. The last color is Suit Aubergine. And that is the color. Next, we have a highlight palette from Lime Crime. That is highlight unicorns. Okay, so I do have this one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that. Those are the colors swatched. Very, very much unicorn and man magical. You see that? And that is what the inside of the palette looks like. Okay, so I'm not taking this out of the wrapper, but this is the um, Secret Admirer Blush Palette from Private Society, and that is what it looks like. This is mine, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you, and that is what the inside looks like. Those are the colors for the blush palette. And we have a, another palette from... Private Society, and that is this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch mine so you can see what it looks like. But uh, that is the inside, and it does have a brush. All right, so those are the colors of that palette swatched. Very pretty colors. I really do love the this palette, and the um, Private Society eyeshadow palettes. Are primer infused so that's really awesome next we have Laura Mercier palette this is the hidden gems palette Let me see my wet fingers but there you go 
and I have that one so we are going to go ahead and swatch that and there's the inside all right, so those are the colors of the Hidden Gem palette. And the next palette is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And this is the Mo Moroccan Spice palette. That is the inside of the palette. Okay, so those are the colors swatched. And I actually have one more palette. I just realized I don't have it with me, but I will leave a picture above somewhere to show you what it looks like. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. I have to pull it up because I am drawing a blank on the name. Okay, so the last palette I have, which again, I don't have it with me, so I am going to pop a picture up for you, is the Fantasy Eyeshadow Palette by Yes Glitters in Christina Rice. It is super pretty. That is it of the palettes, and I also have two pairs of eyeglasses, or sun sunglasses for you, and I will show those to you now. We have... Um, Quentin, Quentin in black and blue pink and these are from Abella and it comes with this little bag here it has some eyeglass wipes and that is what these ones look like I am not putting them on because I don't want my makeup all over it so those are those sunglasses and there is another pair and these ones are also Quentin in silver pink. So it's the same thing, just different colors. All right, so the last pair is these right here. Very, very cute, very pretty. So you'll have two really stylish, fun pairs of glasses. Yay, okay. Um, that is it of what I got. I hope you like everything. We're gonna go and see what Candace has now. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you guys the giveaway items I have. So let's get right into it. Oh god, that's a lot. Of, a lot in here. Let's see. Look, I can't even see all of it. But oh, it's a lot. I don't want to spill it everywhere. I'm gonna try and go and order by brand. First, I have. I'm not gonna open everything, so I'm sorry. If you want to see what anything looks like, you can Google it. It's not to be rude or anything, but I just don't want this to be extremely long. A few things I will open and share with you, though. This is not one of them, because you can see on the outside what it is. This is the Sephora inside JC Penny Sephora Favorites Skin Transforming Treatments. It's just a sample size of all of these nice items here. It's awesome. Sephora always has great skincare. Also from Sephora inside JCPenney, I have this Spice Market Blush Palette. It has a couple of highlighters in there too, as you can see. I also have this Isaac Mizrahi Loves XO Sienna. I have this base from them. Pixie. Two products from Pixie. The Pixie by Petra Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. It's a nice palette of neutrals and shimmers and mattes. Work on a variety of skin complexions. I also have one of their top products. This is their Glow Tonic. Everything's unopened and unused. Shouldn't have to tell you guys that, but some people might ask. Let's go to Juvia's Place. I have the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. I have this palette myself that I still need to do a review on that I got from Black Friday. I still have not done my Black Friday haul. It's really embarrassing. But by the time I get ready to post it, I'm not going to even say it's a Black Friday haul. Well, you know now, but I'm not going to say it's a Black Friday. I'm just going to say Juvia's Place haul because <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's almost a Black Friday again, and I have not. I posted it from 2019. This is the Queen Lip Gloss from Juvia's Place. It's just a darker color. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's a lip gloss, so don't think it's gonna be, well, it might be that vibrant. I don't know, because I've never used it. It'll work on pretty much anyone. I, pr I tried to get everything that was universal to everyone, you know? Or I tried to include stuff in a giveaway that would be universal to everyone. I thought I had one more Juvia's Place. Okay, here we go. I also have the Velvety Matte Foundation in Havana. Now, this is gonna be slightly darker than a lot of you, but I figured, if you're lighter, you can use it as a contour, because a lot of people use cream foundations as contour shades. Or if you're darker, you, you can use it as a highlight. Or if you happen to be this color, foundation. Next brand, I have Oahi Hair Care Texturizing Hairspray. 
They have this really good body oil that I use. I don't have it with me. They have a great line of the products. I have the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Luminous Lip Crayon. Then the shade Helgsberg. This looks like it's a pink or something. That's what it looks like. Too Faced. I have this Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette. This is the palette here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god. I was so close to reviewing this, swatching it, doing a look. I was like, I have so many neutral palettes I'm not doing anything with. Why not throw this in a giveaway? So that's what I did. Also from Too Faced, I have some Prime and Poreless products. This is the Pore Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. Also from that same line, I have the Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder. Now, I'm gonna have to open this and show you. It's so cute. This is another one of those products I wish I could have kept for myself. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. Look, oh, so cute. It has gold on the front, blush pink. And then here's the powder. It has Prime and Poreless on there, on the powder. And then under here, it has an applicator. I don't wanna touch it. It's a heart. So cute. It's adorable. Perfect for carrying on your purse. I almost wanna go buy one of these. But I never touch up my makeup, so that would be a waste of money. Okay, also from Too Faced, four of these. I have, I'm going to show you one of them. This is deep. And what it is, is a palette of a bunch of highlighters, matte and shimmer. Also have light. That one's lighter. Also have tan. That one's tan. These are so pretty, guys. And then this one is medium. I have all four of them for you. This is their Sun Puppy Bronzer. This is beautiful. Like, look at the packaging. It's adorable. And then here's the bronzer. There's a darker and lighter shades in there. Or you can mix them all for a unique or for, you know, this basically an all-over bronzer. Let's move on to Bare Minerals. I have two products. I have these two palettes. Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette. I have it in Dawn and Dusk. Very nice for, whoop, don't want to touch it. Wearable looks, nighttime looks. It has those darker shades in there. Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Prom Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup and Skincare Primer. I also have the Mattifying and Pore Reducing Makeup and Skincare Primer. They come in packaging like this. I also have multiple lipsticks. Five, to be precise. I have, sorry, it's time for me to eat. That's my intermittent fasting timer. I do the 18.6 if I haven't talked about it on here before. This is insane. These are the Super Lustrous Lipsticks. Super Lustrous Lipsticks. I have Insane. I have Black Cherry. I have Fire and Ice. I have Moonlight. And I have Red. It's just a variant series of colors. There's a darker color in here. A couple of reds. Burgundy. It's just different shades in here. That'll work for anyone. Revlon also. Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunlit Glow. Absolutely beautiful highlighter. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Urban Decay. I have the Urban Decay Alkaline 24-7 Glide On Pencil. I've used this so many times in looks. It's just a nice burgundy shade I normally wear on the waterline. Sometimes on the lower lash line it's beautiful. It work on any skin complexion. Also from Urban Decay, I have Face Primer Long Wear Foundation Grip, the All Nighter one. And I have three All Nighter sprays. They're all different. First and foremost, I have the All Nighter Long Last and Setting Makeup Setting Spray. This is the traditional, original one. And I have two others. I have the Pollution Protection Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Spray. I have this one too. I have not had a chance to use it. And then I have the Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I also have this one too. And I'm giving them away. Two. Okay. Colourpop. I have a ton. Y'all know it's one of my favorite makeup brands, if not my favorite. I have the Uh Huh Honey Palette. I've done several looks with this. Well, one look actually. I need to work on that. I need to do two more at least. Bye Bye Birdie Palette. I've done multiple looks with that. Main Squeeze, I have not done any looks with this, but I do have it. I still need to use it. That's on my to-do list, along with 500 other things. I have the Soul Shimmering Dry Oil, Soul Body. This is beautiful. Work on any skin color. Oh my God, look at it, it's so pretty. And to apply that, I have the Soul Body Body Bookie Brush. I have a bunch of Just a Tint Lip Crayon Bundles. I have Guala Habit. I have Cherry and Bright here. And I have Give Me a Slice. Three others. I have You're a Peach. I have Coconuts About You. And I also have Dragging My Heart Around. And then I have a bunch of blush sticks. I'm definitely not going to open all of these. I have Cool It, Roosevelt, Invite Only, Mini Me, Aloha, 25.8, and Hook. All of those for you. I did keep a bunch for myself, so no worries. And then three Allure products. Last thing, the last things. I have Allure Pro Magnetic Magnetic Lash Eyeliner. Just a regular eyeliner you can use with other magnetic lashes, not just Allure. Also have, y'all know, I used to always wear the Allure Foamic Wispies. 
had to include these in here. These are foaming accents you can wear on the outside of your eyes. And then I also have foaming volume. These are absolutely stunning. So two lash options, one eyeliner. Also, the lashes come with their own eyeliner at the top if you see those. But that's it for the giveaway. Or for my part of the giveaway at least. That is it of our giveaway items. I hope you are as excited about this giveaway as we are. We will be announcing the winner on Instagram and Facebook. There is about a month to enter. We'll have the date below in the description as well. Uh, this is an international giveaway, but you do need to be 18 or older to enter. That is it of the video. I hope you enjoy this giveaway and I am excited to have you on my on our channels.